Hi guys, my name is Katie and this video is for spatial ability tests, maps and plans. Okay, so what are spatial ability tests, maps and plans? Well, they're specifically designed to assess a person's ability to visualise and interpret information provided. Now generally these types of questions will use shapes, images, maps or plans in order to determine how well a person is able to follow basic instructions. Okay, so understanding maps and reading basic plans are vitally important if you're applying for a job in the military, police or emergency services. So these questions are prim primarily used to determine whether a person is able to follow or give directions based on either a map or a 2D plan. So how will I be assessed in these sorts of tests? Okay, so these assessments are very specific to careers if you require to read and understand maps and directions. So you will be given a map or a plan of a street. You will need to carefully read this map and then answer questions based on the information contain contained within your map or plan. So please note, we cannot provide an exact replica of what your test will look like. So this will really depend on the company or institution that you've applied for. So I would recommend that you contact them prior to your assessment to find out as much information regarding your assessment. Although we cannot provide an exact replica of your assessment, we can provide you with similar questions that you need to be familiar with in order to successfully pass. And these will test similar skills and attributes required for your real assessments. Okay, so by, by convention, you will be given a map or plan and will have to answer several questions, each relating to the same map or plan. So these questions are fairly basic, but it takes a great sense of direction to move about the map in the correct manner. And this will really heavy, heavily rely on your knowledge of north, south, east and west. Okay, so will I be timed? So for spatial ability tests, generally you are under a strict time limit and you will be assessed on speed as well as your accuracy. So for jobs in the military, police or emergency services, Acting efficiently is crucial and therefore you would be expected to show great map reading skills in order to get somewhere in the quickest possible time. Okay, so it's really fundamental to these sorts of professions. So these tests are not overly complicated but can, can seem daunting due to the heavy time, time limit that you're given. So therefore I strongly advise that you practice similar questions to your assessment by using a similar time limit. So this will enable you to see how well you perform in the allotted time and thus allow you to improve your improve with more practice. Okay, so understanding compass directions. So whilst I do not want to insult your intelligence, it's important that you're familiar with a compass. So here we have north, south, east and west. So in your assessment, you will usually be given the arrow of north, so this will really help you out. And this will usually point towards the top of the page. So there are also four more directions that could be of particular use in your assessment. So we have northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. So you should find a way to remember the compass points. Using a mnemonic device is a great way to correctly recite the compass directions. Okay, so for example, here we've got never eat shredded wheat. So working in a clockwise direction, you can remember N-E-S-W by creating a mnemonic device. So all we have, naughty elephant spray water. You can make up your own or use one of these, whatever works best for you. So like I said, starting with north, pointing to the top of the page, move around in a clockwise direction and recite the rest of the compass directions. So having this Sense, uh, sentence to help you remember the order will guarantee that you have them in the correct position. Okay, so use one of the above mnemonic devices or come up with your own, like I said, to help prepare for your assessments because the, you will be required to know which way is north and which way is south. So you won't be able to score highly if you can't tell the difference between all of them. So make sure that you can. So Sample question one, okay, so let's take a look. So look at the street plan carefully and answer the following questions. So here we've got a very basic street plan. So here we've got, so we've got some gardens, a car park, village hall, and as you can see, there's little letters in the corners of each of these. And here we've got street names. So we've got Culpeper Street, we've got Dame Avenue, Hammond, Hammond Street, 
lots. And here we've got the compass directions, which is already given to you. So that's one less thing for you to remember. So we've got north, east, south, west. So here's the first question. So Jacob has just finished at the sports centre. So we're looking at this part here. He walks out of the sports centre from point G. So we are looking from here. So he walks out of the sports centre from point G on to Hammond Street. He walks east. So you know east is towards the right. He turns at the second left and walks north. So we've got the first left, the second left. So he turns up this way and walks north. So he's walking up Wafer Street. He takes the first left, which is this bit, and then a sharp right, which would be that bit. What street is Jacob now on? Okay, so we've pretty much worked this out together. So as you can see, it was the second left from coming out of the sports centre onto Hammond Street. So one, two. So you're going up here, you, you're walking north, you take the first left and then a sharp right. You would be on the gardens, which would be answer C. Okay, so we worked that out together, but let me give you a question that you can work out by yourself. So here we've got, we've got exactly the same plan as the previous question. So Melissa is standing at the crossing between Wafer Street and Walkway. She is looking at the village hall. What direction is Melissa facing? A, southeast, B, northeast, C, northwest, or D, southwest? And I will give you a few minutes to work this out for yourself and write down your answer and see if it matches up to my answer. Okay, so have you got your answer? Well, let's take a look. So Melissa is standing at the crossing between Wafer Street and Walkway. So here we've got Wafer Street Walkway. So she's standing somewhere here. Okay, so she is looking at the village hall. So she, she's looking this way and she's standing there. You can tell that she would be facing southwest because if she stood there, the village hall is like not at the very bottom of her, but it's not exactly to the left, it's somewhere in between, so it would be southwest. Did you have that answer? So, if you did, great. If not, just see where you went wrong and try the question again. Look at it from a different perspective and use the the um, directions, the compass, to help you out, okay? So some question three, we have the same map again. So Polly is standing at point C. She walks west, she walks to the end of the road and turns left. She takes the first left and then turns right. She continues to the end of the junction. What street will Polly be on? A, Wafer Street, B, Hammond Street, C, Puppet Street, or D, Culpeper Street? Okay, so let's break this down, okay? Let's work through this together. Okay, so Polly is standing at point C. So here is point C. She walks west, so she, you know she's walking this way because the directions tell you west is to the left. So she walks this way, she walks to the end of the road, so you know she's going to reach to the this bit here. And she turns left, so you know she's turning this way, okay? So the important thing to remember is that when looking at this, you're going to be kind of upside down so you need to make sure that your left and rights are still correct so she's taken she takes the first left okay so from that and then she turns right so she will turn this way okay so she turned left and then turn right okay so she continues to the end of the junction so this is the end of the junction so the correct answer would be C because she is now on Puppet Street okay so she started here she walk left, she turns left, she turns left again, then she turns right, What? she follows the junction all the way around, what street is she now on, so it's Puppet Street. Okay, so sample question four, here we have the same map again. If you were standing at point G, which is here, and wanted to get to point E, in the quickest time, which direction would you head first? Okay, so obviously you can't go through the building because you're going to have to walk on the roads, okay? So are you going to walk north, south, east or west? So you're starting here and you want to go there. Well, let's take this step by step. So if you walk, walk this way, you'd have to go up this way, that way to there, which seems quite a long-winded way to get to point E. 
So from here, you could literally just go straight up like that, cut through there, and you'd be there, okay? So the first direction you would go is north, okay? So from G, you would be heading upwards, which, as the map shows, is north, okay? So that completes this spatial ability test for maps and plans. I do have further questions that you can look at by clicking the link below this video. So for more psychometric tests, online tests and suites, anything related to careers, please visit www.health.com for loads more products and career services and testing suites that can help you for any different profession or education institution. Uh, please subscribe to the channel for free and you will keep we will keep you up to date with the regular of regular videos that I'm about to post in the upcoming months please like this video share this video and if you do have any comments or questions please let me know by dropping me a message in at the, the message box below and I will get back to you as soon as I can now thanks for watching I hope this has helped and good luck with your psychometric tests for any profession that you are embarking upon. Take care. Bye.